I don't know. I don't always feel like I look my best in certain clothing. Oof. Okay. Where like my stomach is more evident. I mean, obviously there's the the societal norm of what's perpetuated of super skinny woman. And so that inherently creates an inse insecurity because it's not what is generally perceived in this country as beautiful. And so I was always like the smallest one and that definitely weared on my self-esteem a little bit, always being like the itty bitty one. And people were always like, you're so itty bitty, your wrists are so small and blah, 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 blah. And um, it was a, it was a really funny little insecurity, but it was something I was really cautious about. I've always like thought I was a little chubby, just in the sense that like, Sometimes my family would tell me I was chubby when I was younger and I've just it's always been a thing that's made me self-conscious at times I'm like oh Flappy stomach if it does exist, which I kind of think it does. I'm really hairy Yeah, I got that from my dad's side. Probably my nose And why is that? Um, it kind of looks like a beak a little bit with like these bumps and everything and it just like it sticks out of my face and it really screws up my profile. I always thought my nose was too turned up because my sister used to say I had a pig nose so I would try to push it down because I didn't like how it looked so that was something that I didn't like and I hate that I don't have an actual neck because my face kind of goes into my neck so I just have this, this over double chin all the time. <laughs> I feel like if I scrunch, scrunch my head back too much, then I'm just double chin and I look like a worm. Probably the insides of my thighs because there's like really no way to like get rid of that part. And um, probably the love handle things right here because there's really no way of getting rid of those either. Middle school probably, like when that's kind of the time where people are like pointing you out and looking at you and saying, oh, you have this, that, 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 and that, and then it's like, oh, well, I do? I never thought about it that way. So I think that's kind of a point in everyone's life where they kind of like look at themselves as like this like alien to the world in a sense, I don't know. Growing up, I had so many freaking bullies. It was unbelievable. And then um, and I got picked on like crazy. And then, and then theater bullying is like a whole nother realm of bullying. For me it was like middle school, high school. A lot of it was middle school because that's when you're, I, I feel like you're really understanding your body and understanding your image. I, I was very athletic in high school. I was part of football, I was part of wrestling, track and field, a little bit weightlifting and um, I was always really good at it until I got to wrestling and I would show up and immediately you were fat no matter what. Day one, you were fat. I think I remember at one point in time, I dropped to like two, if not 3% body fat, and I had to go to, to the doctor because I was having like lots of like, my sophomore year in high school, I was having like lots of problems, and there the doctor was like, yeah, you need to like, you're like a stick. I mean, you're fit, but your, your body is literally running on no, uh, it doesn't have any fat, and that's not a good thing. Sometimes whenever I'm like laying down and I bend upward, I can just feel all of the, like the skin pushed together right here, and it feels just really tight. And also, whenever I'm wearing like tighter pants, they tend to like stick out over my pants, and then I really notice it, and then I really feel uh, crappy about it. I have big thighs, like really muscular calves, or not calves, like yeah, thigh muscles. They used to call me like horse, horse calves in high school. I don't know, like I, I really try to fully embrace who I am and that includes like my personality um, and like my frizzy hair, like my bad hair days, my good hair days and like my body, like it just, it, it includes like the whole thing. I love how I have a really good sense of humor, a really good sense of humor and I'm able to laugh at myself. I love my dimples, my dimples are cute. <laughs> Why do you love your dimples? <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I feel like whenever you can have dimples, it just makes your smile just that much brighter and stuff. I like that I don't have big boobs, you know, because sometimes it's a weird stereotype that 
sometimes girls should have bigger boobs and like big tits and like this like really this body image that's always put out there and I've always had really small boobs so I've just grown to like them more because I remember not being comfortable with that and feeling like I should be bigger and then when I realized like no I like having small boobs because it's who I am and it's nice and I wouldn't change a thing. I really like my smile. Even though my two front teeth are kind of uneven, I still really like my smile because I feel like my whole face lights up when I smile. I like my shoulders and my arms. I like my eyes. I like my hair. I like everything, actually. I think I'm just like really unique, you know? I unabashedly have an amazing butt. I'm gonna go ahead and just like, it's a nice bum. And I appreciate my bum. And I attribute that to playing soccer. Yes, I like my bum. Empowering people and like women in particular to fully like express themselves and really, really appreciate who they are and like look past the conventional sense of what's beautiful or what's the normal body image. Everybody's gorgeous, and you should love your flaws because that's what makes you you.